Hey, Fred! What? Oh my goodness! What? Look at your sombrero! My sombrero! Yeah, why are you wearing a sombrero? I'm just uh, uh, being a fashion plate. Oh, I really like it. And okay. you know what? It's, it's very festive. Thank you. You know, uh, we have something to celebrate today. Why? Well, I have a present for you. For me? Yes! Is that why you kept me up Monday? Yes, you were not on the live stream on Monday because I wanted to make sure that this surprise came just for you today on Three Ingredient Recipes. I thought, I thought maybe the, the monsters were just taking over. Oh, well, you know, they, they're showing up a whole bunch on the channel, but we always have a spot for you, Fwed. Aww. Yeah. So I have connected with an artist who's also on YouTube. His name is Will. Will? Yep, and he has the a channel. artist on YouTube. Yep. And and he has a channel called Unmask Art. Unmask Art? Yep, Unmask Art. He does a lot of... Uh, I never heard of mask art, let alone not mask art. Well, he does a lot of pieces of art where he will put down some masking tape, uh -huh. and then when he peels it off, you've got something underneath what he's drawn or painted or anything like that. Wow! Yeah. Now, since you came here, we have wondered what your planet looks like. Yeah. What a point it Fred looks like. Yes. So I asked Will to make a piece of art that maybe looks like your planet. How does he know what Fred what Fred looks like? Well, he's an artist, so he's just using his imagination, but we'd like to see if it came out to look anything like Planet wow. Fred. Wow! Yeah. So this came today. This is the package and none about That none looks of, nothing like my planet. No no no, it's inside here. Oh Yeah. <laughs> Silly me. Now this came in the mail. Do you know where Poland is? Uh, not near my planet. Uh, no, and it's actually not very near the United States either. It's all the way across the ocean. So, um, he sent this all the way from Poland, and, um, I have untaped it, but I haven't, uh, taken a look yet. So we're gonna see this Ooh. live right now. And you should all, after this video, check out Will's channel. I'll have it linked up in the corner up here, wherever the little corner, uh, things come. Plus, I will have it linked in the comments down below, because he's an amazing artist. He does, uh, paintings, he does... Uh, charcoal sketches and uh, uh, all sorts of things. Help with that? Oh, sure. Do you want to help? Okay. So here we go. I am pulling this out. And okay. So this is all wrapped up like this. So I'm going to unwrap it. Still it doesn't look like my planet. Not yet. Not yet. You have to have patience. Have oh. you never gotten a, a, a present before? Well, not on, not on camera. Not on camera. Okay. Well, this is my first. Uh, Totally, I guess, blind unboxing, meaning I've never seen it before. Oh, Fred. Oh, Fred. What do you think? Wait, he, that's my space suit. How that's do you, your how space do you, suit. What do you, you took a picture of me while I was floating in space. Look at that. Does, does, does the planet look anything like planet? That's planet? exactly what planet Fred looks like. My goodness. Okay, I'm going to try to get a perfect view of this. I know that Will said that he is, uh, he took... Uh, Were you spying on me, Will? <laughs> He took some footage of himself painting this, so he is, uh, you will see this on his plan on his uh, channel, and when he does post that video of making this painting, we will have that link down below as well. Oh, what? So that looks exactly like Planet Fwed, huh? That is the Planet Fwed! And is that you escaping and that's coming me, to that, Earth? That, that, that's me, uh, just doing a free walk in space. That is amazing. My this space, is... If, 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 if he did the finish the bigger picture, that my spaceship would be right here. Right here, right where right right my face is. Right here, right here. This is spaceship. Right on my face. Yes, yeah, like that. Okay. Well, Will, thank you so much for this painting. This is amazing. This is absolutely. I'm just. I couldn't be more happy for with this. So, if you want to learn how to uh, paint, I'm ready to inspire me in the bathtub. Okay. <laughs> so, if you want to learn how to do art like this, would you like to have he... a picture you painted in the bath in the bathtub? That would just be. Disturbing. Well, then I'm gonna have to make another commission. So, how do you think we should celebrate this beautiful new piece of art in our in our home? Uh, dinner. Dinner. You know what? You are wearing your beautiful sombrero. Yes. You know what is great for dinner, or at least for just before dinner? Uh, appetizers. Appetizers, and we are going to have a Mexican-inspired appetizer called jalapeno poppers. Jalapeno poppers. Yep. You popped them. Um, no, you pop them in your mouth. Oh! So they are delicious. What the hell are we will find out in just a moment. All they right. are delicious, they are spicy, they are the perfect celebration for a gorgeous piece of artwork just like this. And of course, there are only three ingredients. Three ingredients. So the first ingredient for jalapeno poppers is. 
a jalapeno. This is a jalapeno. That, that, is that what a jalapeno looks like? Yep, a jalapeno is a pepper. Do you know what pepper? pepper? Yep. And jalapenos have a bit of spice to them, so they are a spicy pepper. Yep. Can I try one? Uh, why don't you try one when we cook them? Because right. we got to put them in the in, in the recipe. So jalapenos are spicy. They're not too spicy. They're not as spicy as uh, say spicy. as yeah as like a Scotch bonnet or something else like that. But they do have a bit of a kick to them. So make sure that you are prepared for that. It doesn't have little feet. They, they, how do they kick you? You'll find out when we eat them. All right. The next ingredient is. Philadelphia cream cheese. Cream cheese. Uh, you can use cream cheese in a brick or in, or in a package like this. Um, it will take about eight ounces of cream cheese, no matter what type you do. Um, we are going to be using this chive and onion for some of them, and we also have a plain cream cheese for others. Um, either way, it will make them taste delicious. We just thought it might be fun to try one that has some flavoring and then one that is plain. Oh. And our final ingredient is? Uh, what is that? That is bacon. It's bacon. Bacon. So these jalapeno poppers are a little bit different. Some jalapeno poppers that you may have are breaded or have batter on them and you fry them. These we make in the oven and we are going to wrap them up in bacon. We see. <laughs> Let's see how to make this. All right, on my cutting board, I have my jalapeno peppers. I also have a couple of sweet peppers. Um, I'm just going to fill a couple of these and roast them as well with uh, the fillings because I find jalapenos too hot even when they've been seeded. So I thought that I would have these for myself and then these ones for Fuet. Because these are jalapenos and because it's really easy to burn yourself with the, uh, with the seeds and all of that, I am actually going to put on some gloves before I start, start cutting this up. Now if you're not going to wear gloves, just make sure that you wash your hands thoroughly after you handle the jalapenos because if you touch your eye or anything else on yourself, you might wind up uh, getting a burn from the heat, especially from the seeds. So now I'm just going to cut and seed all of the jalapeno peppers and the sweet peppers as well. And now these are all seeded and ready to be filled. We remove the ribs and the seeds, one to be able to have a place to put the cream cheese, and also because the ribs and the seeds of jalapenos are where most of the heat lies, so you don't want it to be overly spicy. Now we have this chive and onion cream cheese. You can go with a plain cream cheese, and in fact I have that ready to go as well. We're gonna try both. Uh, in these appetizers, we figured we might as well try both. And we'd want to fill up the inside of each jalapeno. You want to make sure you give it a generous amount, but not overfill. You don't want it to bubble over into the whole pan. You want it to be contained by the bacon. So don't overfill these, but fill them nicely. And now that these are filled, I'm going to take each jalapeno or each pepper and wrap it with bacon. Now you don't wanna do this overly tight because you wanna make sure that it does contain the cream cheese, but also it kind of has room to crisp up. If you wrap it really, really tight, there's a lot of area that's not going to crisp up as it cooks. I have all of my jalapeno poppers laid out on a baking rack. The reason that I put this on a rack is just so that the bacon can crisp all the way over and any of the bacon grease can drip down to the pan below. This will go into a 400 degree Fahrenheit oven for about 20 minutes or until the bacon is cooked all the way through to the amount of crispiness you want. All right, so these are straight out of the oven. Uh, you can hear it is still spattering just a bit because these are nice and hot. Uh, you will get a bit of grease at the bottom of your pan. That's just from the bacon releasing the, uh, the grease from it. So be prepared to have a little bit of steam, a little bit of smoke in your kitchen. 
So all of the peppers have gotten nice and soft. The cream cheese is nice and bubbly, and the bacon on top is nice and crispy. So we're going to let these cool down just a bit, and then we can serve them. Oh, 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 oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, that very, that was very spicy. Is it too spicy for you? No, it's just very spicy. Oh, okay. I think it'd be spicy. These definitely have a kick to them, especially if you're using uh, really fresh jalapenos. Make sure that if you are really uh, uh, prone to being uh, upset by spice, that you really clean out all the seeds and all the ribs from your jalapenos. Did they upset you? Did they make you cry? Uh, they might just make you, they, they could make you cry. They could make you cry and sweat and make your mouth hurt. If no. you find that jalapenos are just too hot for you, like me, you can always use the sweet peppers. And so that's what we did for me because I'm kind of a wimp about spice. Try it. I'll try some. Nice and sweet. Nice and sweet. Mm-hmm. So, and a little bit of grease, which comes with the bacon. The bacon. But these are just delicious. They're totally easy to make. They only take a few minutes. And then uh, the only time that really is taken with this is cooking them in the oven. And that's just waiting for them to be done. These are a perfect appetizer, so we're going to finish these up right now. Mmm. A little, bit, <laughs> little <laughs> bit spicy there, huh? Do you have any wool weights? Uh, you know what's good for uh, something that's really spicy like that is milk. Milk? Yep, you drink a little bit of milk and it can calm down the spice in your mouth and it'll be good for you. But and... what if your whack toast and towel went? Uh, we'll figure something out. Ooh. So, did you enjoy? Did you enjoy your painting and uh, having a three ingredient recipe with us this week? Oh, it was lovely. So, uh, once again, if you liked the beautiful piece of artwork that Will did for us, check out Unmask Art. Check it out anyway. He does so many different pieces of art. He can even teach you how to work with colored pencils or watercolors. He teaches courses. He's fantastic. Thank you so much for sending that off to us. Fred couldn't be any happier with that. Mm. And if you enjoyed this, you can subscribe. You can subscribe. Yep, just hit the little subscribe button down below and then hit the bell, which will notify you anytime we have Ding a new video. Yep. Uh, please leave a comment if you want to find uh, a three ingredient recipe if that we haven't done yet. If you want us to try any other recipe and make it just three ingredients, we can do that for you. And of course, uh, share these with your friends. If you share this on social media, it helps us out a whole bunch. What? Uh, I think we need to get you some milk. Ooh. Uh, and probably some for me too. So, <laughs> thanks so much for joining us this time. We'll see you again next time. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. <laughs> and our final- Whoop it! No, don't do that. <laughs> I know you think that's hilarious, but we got kids who might watch this. Okay. <laughs>